Ricky Thornton Jr., not very far away from home. I understand just about an hour down the road to Hockley, Texas. Yeah, uh, we just moved from Arizona to Hockley, Texas, and definitely it's only an hour drive, so kind of makes it nice. Now, I had to like kind of reintroduce myself to you because it's been quite at the while. I believe Jet Moore and you were in a late model back then, so tell us about what we're in transpired to now. Yeah, it's been a little while. Little while. Um, yeah, we ran the late model there a couple years ago and uh, been uh, modified all this year, uh, last year. Uh, just moved over to Tice Motorsports, start working for them, racing with them too. So uh, hopefully we can chase a little USMTS next year. That's good to hear. Now besides driving, what else, what is your specialty I guess I should say? Uh, just working on the cars. Just turning the wrenches about any way you can? Yeah, getting the cars ready, uh, whatever it takes. Uh, so if it's a hauler, car, whatever that, a little bit of knowledge too. So. Now, how'd the connection with Tice Motorsports come together for you? Uh, the guy that actually works for Chris Brown, Donnie. Um, I was talking to him, told him I was looking for something to crew and um, race at the same time, and he led me to these guys, and I've been here for about almost about a month, and it's been pretty awesome. Now, you, you talked a little bit about hitting around at the USMTS. Is that your stretch goals, your long-term plans, is to uh, hit that full-time, or maybe the southern region or something like that? Um, I mean, ultimately, I like to travel and do it full-time, but uh, I think we're going to run some of the central stuff this year and uh, kind of see where that leads us. Chassis-wise, what do we got under here? Uh, it's a Skyrocket. Uh, got it at the beginning of last year, um, drove for a guy, and then he sold it to me here a couple weeks ago, and it's been an awesome car. Now, uh, do you have some people maybe coming to see you tonight or in here the pits with you to, to watch you just an hour away from home? You surely got to have somebody down here watching. Um, for the most part, no, <laughs> being from Arizona. So, I mean, we just moved about a month ago, but there's a couple people that came down from there. They have family up here, so that makes it nice. And your plan here for tonight, uh, uh, kind of a learning curve here. Do you have a, a goal set? You want to walk away with a top 10? What are your goals here for this weekend? Well, we practiced last night. We were actually pretty good. So, um, I mean, ultimately, we'd like to win the deal. But I think if we can come in top 10, it would be pretty big. Well, good luck to you here this weekend. And certainly, we look forward to talking to you quite a bit next year on the USMTS trail. Thank you. Thank you guys for everything.